briefs. The Herald and News. Sunrise Headlines. Your headlines now. Good morning, Klamath Basin. It's Friday, August 10th, 2018. I'm Kurt Lipke with the Herald and News. Here's a preview of stories you can find in today's edition of the Herald and News. Time for your Sunrise Headlines. Downtown revitalization plans are underway in the city of Tule Lake. The Tule Lake City Council on Tuesday approved a downtown plan under recommendation of Stan Foster of Park Resources, which, in coordination with the Tule Lake Building Inspector, had completed an informal assessment of downtown structures. Foster, operating under a Ford Family Foundation grant approved for the city, inspected buildings and compiled proposed actions in association with a community revitalization committee. Foster's first recommendation is demolition of the Clyde Hotel building, as well as expansion of Veterans Park, wayfinding signage, advocacy of political leaders, in the region and pursuit of economic development funding. For the first two days of September, Basin Gaming in downtown Klamath Falls will be hosting the Basin Game Expo for its second year in a row. Tickets will be sold at the door, $3 for a one-day pass and $5 for both days. Kids under age 10 will be admitted free with a paying adult. The convention will run from 10 to 8 on Saturday and on Sunday from 10 to 5. The money will go toward the club responsible for the convention in order to support this and future expos, the Council of Intrepid Adventurers, or CIA. The top border collies in North America will be coming to Alturas September 24th through the 29th at the York Angus Ranch to compete in the National Sheepdog Finals. Dogs will be arriving from all over the United States and Canada to compete for the coveted title of National Sheepdog Champion. There will also be a competition for the National Nursery Champion, that's for dogs three years and under. All year long, handlers and their dogs travel across the United States competing in numerous trials hoping to accumulate enough points to qualify to be one of the top 150 teams to compete at the National Finals. Two Klamath Falls brothers are adding to the local brewing landscape after spending the last several months refurbishing a century-old milk parlor to start Skyline Brewing Company. Although the company is a new venture for the local duo, Rye and Ty Kluwer, it's a project that's been brewing in their minds for several years. Skyline Brewing Company is based inside Ty and his wife Brooks' 100-year-old milk parlor located on their 165-acre ranch outside of Klamath Falls. Ty and Rye gutted and refurbished the parlor as a brewing station with the help of former Grovolution participant Derek Pallett. The brothers brought in brewing and fermenting equipment, but kept the brick exterior. The Kluwer brothers are selling their beers by the keg to the public, and beers can be found on tap locally at various eateries, including Mia's and Pia's, The Chicken Shack, and Klamath Basin Brewing Company. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in today's Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can subscribe to our daily and weekly podcasts on iTunes and Google Play Music to automatically receive each show on your listening device. And check back often for the latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news. Good morning, Klamath Basin, and enjoy your day. 